Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So in this video, we're gonna talk about a couple of different subjects. We're gonna start off with a concerning new feature coming to YouTube, and then we're gonna talk about some updates regarding the iShow speed situation that somehow managed to get worse, and then we'll end with some anime-related news. But first, I wanna give you guys a special offer. I know a lot of you enjoy Advanced GG and their line of ice shakers featuring anime characters like my VTuber model, for example, but I know a lot of you guys want a more functional version of this where it doesn't feature an anime character because you have to bring it to work or school or something like that, and you might be a little bit shy to have anime girls on it, and I get it. So they came out with a new line of ice shakers that are more normal looking, and they look pretty nice, and they're very functional. They work really well to keep your drinks cold all throughout the day, so I will leave a link to all those in the pinned comment. You can check them out there, and make sure to use code REV to get 10% off your order. But first, let's start off with this story right here. So YouTube came out and stated that they're working on a multi-view feature allowing users to watch four things at once. And my comment on that is uh, pretty much my entire thoughts on this. TikTok and its consequences. Because this is becoming a very normal thing to consume multiple pieces of media at the same time. Now, I have a lot of functional questions about this, like how does it work with view count, how does it work with monetization and ads and things like that. But also, I am aware that a lot of people with ADHD, for example, have been doing this forever. They watch multiple pieces of media at the same time because it's hard for them to focus on one thing. But this whole concept of multi-view is becoming way, way, way too normalized. Like this is the average person needing to resort to that because they're so dopamine starved they need four things on the screen at the same time in order to pay attention. And on TikTok, this is the new meta. People can't just listen to someone talk anymore. They have to have the person talking, and then they have a video of someone cooking on the side, and then they have gameplay footage on another area, and then they have another spot with arts and crafts. They need all these keys jingling in front of them at the same time in order to pay attention to someone talk for even a minute. It's a very concerning thing. It's like these people, their brains are rewired in a way that they can't get enough dopamine from one video at a time, so that they resort to all of these at the same time. And with this announcement, I fear this is becoming the new meta. I mean, this seems like a, a thing that is becoming more and more popular, and YouTube is seeing it on TikTok. And of course, they compete with TikTok, so they're adding this as well. And I'm really curious to see how you guys feel about this. I think it's very concerning, but I, I'm open to hear what you guys have to say. And also, since you've listened this long, go to my tweet, juice it, like it, retweet it, leave a, a, a comment for the algorithm. You know what to do. But nonetheless, let's move on to the next story here. It's the iShow speed situation. So for those who have missed it, I, I'm sure most of you already seen this situation. The YouTuber iShow speed had a little bit of a blunder. So in front of 25,000 live viewers, I show speed got a little too excited. He stood up and then began dry humping the air where then his dangling flopped out of his pants for a couple of seconds and was visible to his 25,000 concurrent viewers. And of course, that's a bad situation. That's a big no-no. Well, as it turns out, his channel will not be banned and it doesn't seem like he has any temporary restrictions on his account since he streamed yesterday. But this has opened up a lot of conversations, mainly about the fact that he flashed his audience that is predominantly minors and how we should treat that situation. But what I want to focus on is much more simple in this video. And it has to do with how did this happen? How do you let this happen? How do you accidentally end up flashing 25,000 people live? It seems absolutely goofy to me. Like, how did you find yourself in this situation? And he will explain this in this clip a little bit more, but it doesn't really make things much better. And I have to say this, like, I get it. I feel bad for him. In this clip, he's going to be very emotional and upset, but I get it. Okay, he's embarrassed. It's an embarrassing thing to happen. And people are also being very weird. Like sharing the clip over and over on, on places like Twitter is very strange to me. Like people have an obsession with posting it. And it's, a, it's, it's very weird. It's borderlining, borderlining on, on obsessive. And also you have people like trying to calculate his size and things like that. It's, it's weird, man. It's very, very weird. But hearing his explanation doesn't really make it a whole lot better. And as you can see, he is very upset about one of the new nicknames that he's gotten, and that is I Show Meats. Laughing at you, you know, laughing, ha ha ha, I Show Meat, ha, 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 like bro, laughing at you, 
and like, bro, reposting it. Like, bro, how the fuck would you fucking feel, motherfucker? How the fuck would you fucking feel? Yeah, I, I wouldn't feel very good. I mean, obviously, it's a super embarrassing situation. And like I said, there's people who are very weird about it, reposting it like their life depended on it. But this is a this is a situation that you created for yourself. Like, I can only feel so bad for you when this wasn't some freak accident. It was something that you you took a risk on. And he'll explain later. And it sounds like it was a big risk. Let me, Just because you ain't have no clean fucking underwear. Oh, Here we go. Just cause you ain't have no clean fucking underwear! You ain't have no clean underwear! So you put on some goddamn pants! Some other some pants! That's his explanation for how this happened, that he didn't have any clean pants, therefore he, he wore something a little more revealing. Which, my response to that is, do your laundry! Or, since you're so wealthy, go buy some new underwear, new pants, or have your, or hire a maid! to do it for you like it's not a very good excuse and I would also think if you were in that situation wearing something that you might think would uh, have this possibility of revealing yourself maybe don't stand up out of your chair and start humping the air while wearing this loose fit clothing where this is a very real and possible consequence of doing that but nonetheless yeah like I said a lot of weirdos in this situation I feel bad for him and uh, I don't know, but I can only feel so bad when this is clearly a self-created situation. But we're gonna move on to this clip. And this highlights one of the more disturbing aspects of this whole situation. So it's important to note that I Show Speed just recently turned 18 years old. Now there's a whole conversation about what if the roles were reversed here? If this was a woman who flashed her audience, would people treat the same situation uh, the way they are with I show speed, for example, where they're openly posting and talking about it. I know people would treat that very differently if it happened to a woman, but nonetheless, this clip is very disturbing. This is Aiden Ross talking about the situation. It speaks for itself. Bro, I, I, I guys, stop talking about his pee. I don't give a fuck. I've seen it thousands of times. I've known speed for years. I've seen it in person thousands of times. I don't care. I saw it and I laughed. I smiled. So in case you didn't catch that, he just said that he's seen I Show Speed's thing thousands of times for many years. Again, I Show Speed just turned 18. So it's implied here that he has seen I Show Speed in a revealing way at times where he would have been a minor. Is anyone deeply disturbed by that? Like, this gets... This is getting hardly any attention. This is a guy straight up admitting that he saw someone underage naked. That's... Where where are all the aunties, for example, that are normally crying about anime? Where are they in this situation? They're dead silent, I, I would imagine, because here's a real situation of someone doing something very, very concerning and people turning a blind eye because it doesn't suit their interests. But nonetheless, I thought that was important to, to at least point out so some people can get some traction on this because it deserves a lot more attention than what it's getting right now. But speaking of anime, let's do a, a, a 180 twist here on this video. I'm going to make a Nostradamus prediction here. So this is an anime coming out in 2024. I, I'm predicting the next outrage bait. This is going to break Twitter. I, I predict it every single time. This is a magical girl anime. Now, there's a lot of conversation right now on Twitter about the magical girl genre and how it's turning a lot more to fan service and things like that, and that's making people on Twitter very upset. Well, this one, I guarantee, is going to drag the Taurus out of the woodwork. It's already getting some backlash, but I predict as we get closer, we're going to get a lot more outrage because this magical girl anime here knows exactly what it is, and it's not hiding it. It's literally titled gushing over magical girls it's clearly an etchy magical girl show completely obvious the title tells you exactly what it's going to be and yet people are going to see this possibly even watch it and then complain about fan service contained within it that is my nostradamus prediction here i know it's going to happen and i'm ready for it but nonetheless i want to end this video on a lighter note we talked about some heavier stuff today i just want to share this tweet from the goat himself, Hideo Kojima, he simply tweeted, take a look at Pecora," and just posted her. 
Sometimes I love the internet. You know, sometimes the internet is a, is a terrible dark place, but it's little moments like this that make it worth it. Seeing uh, two paths cross here that is truly something to take in and absorb. But uh, it's not the first time, by the way, he's talked about VTubers. Clearly, he's a big fan of VTubers, but this one in particular, a clash of titans here, and you'll love to see it. But that's going to do it for this video. I know it's a lot of different topics, so feel free to share all of your thoughts on everything we covered in today's video in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.